Did God just say what I thought he said? Did God just say what I thought he said? Did he say that? I think I heard him correctly. I don't know if I heard him correctly. You guys, I am seeking God because um, it's crazy because I don't know if I heard God correctly. Like, okay. <sighs> so last night I was blogging and um, I wrote a blog and my blog was called Quit Your Job. Oh my God. Is it me? No, no, no. No, my, my, my job is comfortable. It's paying my bills right now, God. Um, and it's so funny because I actually did put up a blog the other day about how when God speaks to us, he speaks to us clearly. So it's kind of like um, when, you know, Hosea, God first told Hosea, go marry a prostitute. You know, he spoke clearly. You know, he gave him, you know, or when he went to Ananias and said, go to um, a street called Straight and Saul Tarshish will be there. You know, the Christian killer. <laughs> you know did I hear you correctly God like you know um, it's crazy a few years ago you guys God told me to quit college and I remember hearing him and I remember getting all this conf confirmation and I remember him telling me to walk out on water and I remember um, you know quitting college. Actually, I quit college February 18th, uh, 2012. 12? I think it was 2012. Um, I'm currently back in school, but um, yeah, I heard him loud and clear. And I remember him saying, you know, um, I remember hearing like different things like, if you die tomorrow, is this what you would want to be doing with your life? You know, um, do you feel stuck? Um, you know, I remember confirmation like, go walk out on water. I remember all of that, you guys. Like, I remember it was like it was yesterday. And, oh, I don't have my seatbelt on. <clears throat> but I remember God, like, speaking to me on these things. And I'm like, Lord, like, do I hear you correctly? Because I don't want to be crazy and, you know, do something that I'm going to regret because, you know, when certain things happen, it's, um, it's hard because they keep leaving all these papers on my window. Like, I don't want my toe caught, my car towed. But, you know, it's crazy because it's just like, oh my gosh, like, God, you have no clue how crazy this is gonna look no clue you know how am I gonna you know do what I'm gonna do when I left college I didn't know what God was gonna do with me um, and he actually had me back in Massachusetts for a good year and um, you know he would only give me enough money to do the things in which I needed to do and um, so like when I when my bills were only just my um, you know, my cell phone bill, he gave me money for my cell phone bill. And then when my bills were only enough money for, I had like, uh, like a school loan that I needed to pay off. He only gave me enough, you know, he gave me the subway job so that I could start paying on that, you know? <clears throat> and then that's when he wanted me to move to Florida and do all this so when he had me do all that um, he gave me twenty thousand dollars so he gave me more money that I could even ask for you know uh, more money than I could even ask for okay so yeah so there's many reasons of why when God asks us to do these weird things that we can get him like we can give him so many excuses we think about Moses in the Bible when God told him Hey, go to Pharaoh and tell him to let my people go, you know, and he was just like, I, I can't do this. I'm, you know, I stutter, you know? So, I mean, for me, I quit college and I could have been like, well, Lord, like, I just got in here. I'm a year and a half away from graduating. God, I have a five-year plan. God, my life is in order. God, my family loves me now that I'm in college. Lord, um, do you remember who I used to be? 
okay so now I'm successful <laughs> in everybody's eyes because I'm in school and so therefore I can't do this you know I want to still be amazing <laughs> to everybody there it's a million and one excuses <laughs> God could say quit your job I can't where am I getting my money from how am I gonna be stable how am I gonna live how am I gonna survive how am I gonna eat what about my benefits you know what about what about my health care? You know, um, Hosea, he could have said, Marry a prostitute. What about the first? How about the how about the lady who sits in the first row of church? Okay, the girl who wears the, the skirt down her ankles, you know, how about the girl who's not a prostitute, you know, who um, is a virgin? How about that? How about I marry a virgin? Um, you know, who got her, her life together? Okay, who's not gonna go around the streets on me? How about how would I marry someone like that? Someone pure, and you know, how about that? Um, Whenever God asks us to do something strange, we can have a million excuses of why we can't do what we What he wants us to do, you know, but honestly, it's not about Questioning God and what it is that he wants us to do. It's more of the lines that we need to do it We need to step out take that step of faith and do what God's calling us to do because he knows what's best for us He knows what um, is gonna happen in our lives and he has us in his hand he knows what it is you know I I never went hungry a day after I left college you know I never um, didn't have my bills paid I God allowed my life to become better than it was I got a car I got a condo I got to move to Florida and he's giving me all new furniture he's taking care of me you know he's never not taking care of me he's never not had the best intentions for my life eventually like jose ended up getting his wife back and they were to have a better relationship you know um i left college and what i think it's like three years later i'm back in school again but now i'm in a christian college which honestly to be honest with you guys i feel christian college is so much better for me because <laughs> I could apply Jesus to everything, which um, I was actually f failing some of my classes in my other school because I would apply Jesus to everything, and they didn't really like it. So um, I get to actually do what I was doing in regular college, but freely, because I'm a Christian and I'm in Christian college, um, and I want to apply God's word to daily living. Um, but yeah, what I want to say to you guys is never be afraid of when you hear God tell you to do some crazy things. Um, because God is actually going to tell you to do some crazy things. Uh, don't think that he's not. Because he will. Um, and a lot of people, when God asks you to do these things, you know, if you go to them, let me say something. They're going to be like, you're out your mind. Okay? So, don't go to people <laughs> when God asks you to do something crazy because they're only going to try to talk you out of it. And the thing is, is that you have to trust in God because he knows what he's doing in your life. Like when I told everybody I was leaving college, oh my God, they thought that I was out of my mind. They thought I was crazy. They thought that, they thought a whole bunch of stuff like, oh my God, yeah, I want to leave college to follow Jesus. To do what? <laughs> Yeah, God told me to leave. Like, I'm leaving. Um, and so, you know, sometimes what God has you do makes you look crazy. But in the end, like, oh, wow, I'll be crazy, you know. Um, if it means that I'm going in the right direction in which it is that God wants me to go in, then that's fine. Who cares, you know. I don't care if people think I'm crazy. I don't think if people think I'm nuts. I don't think if people... Who cares about your opinion? Honestly, it doesn't really matter as long as I'm doing what God wants me to do, you know? Um, it doesn't matter. God could tell me to quit my job and travel across the country and talk to people about Jesus, and that's what I'm gonna do. So I just encourage you guys, you know, because I love you guys. If God says, do something crazy, then do something crazy. Walk out on water, people, walk out on water. That's what it is, you know? Just follow him, trust in him, believe in him, and you'll stay afloat. 
I know it's crazy, but trust me, it's well worth it. No excuses, just walk out on water. And make sure you ask for confirmation because that's very important because you don't want to walk out on water and it not be God. Lord, if it be you, bid me to come. If this is you, God speaking to me, tell me to come here. Tell me to do this crazy act. Com confirm it over and over and over again until I get the gist. All right, guys. I love you. I love you very much. <laughs>